So you want to go to Souls Chapel. Uh, I can't blame you. I've been there a number of times myself. It's a really interesting location. Um, and of course, according to legend, it's the site of quite a paranormal disturbance. Uh, first, I'd like to tell you a little bit about the chapel itself, its history. Uh, it's located not too far from Somerset, Kentucky, a short drive on Souls Chapel Road, and you'll arrive at the chapel itself. You can trace the existence of Souls Chapel back to, well, before the American Civil War. Uh, at that time, the congregation, like the country itself, was split. Some supported the Confederacy, some supported the Union. The congregation was so divided on this issue that half of them left the church completely. They moved elsewhere, uh, built another chapel called Bradley's Chapel. It was about a mile away uh, as the crow flies. Well, as we know, the Union won the Civil War and afterward uh, the congregation decided to sort of, you know, get back together. Everyone who had stayed in the congregation at Souls Chapel just sort of merged into Bradley's Chapel. Well, this left Souls Chapel empty, and it stayed that way for a number of years. Uh, slowly, of course, over time, it fell into ruin. Certain rumors started circulating about Souls Chapel. Um, apparently, there were some people who had started using the, the grounds uh, to conduct rituals, uh, according to some, a lot of satanic rituals. Some say that there were actual murders on the site, uh, rapes. This energy uh, was left on the on the location, and over time, people started becoming scared of going to this place. It was uh, rumored to be haunted. That these 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 rituals, uh, uh, murders, had kind of left an impression on this on the chapel and the in the and the cemetery that, well, still to this day, a lot of people believe uh, translates over into a, a haunting of sorts. Have I ever experienced anything at Souls Chapel? Well, I guess I should put it like this. I first went to Souls Chapel about six years ago, um, and I took a lot of equipment with me. Uh, but the main piece I had that, that evening was a digital audio recorder. And with that digital audio recorder, uh, we had a, an EVP session, EVP, Electronic Voice Phenomenon. We were searching for uh, disembodied voices, uh, which some paranormal enthusiasts had claimed to obtain on, on recording device while at Souls Chapel. So, as I was saying, it was, a, it was a dark night and we had our um, digital audio recorder searching for voices and it just so happens that we got one. Uh, it was a, a male voice and it was saying three words. We put it on a computer to try to amplify the sound, make sure we were hearing what we thought we were hearing. And the three words were, I'm watching you. You can imagine a reaction. Sometime thereafter, I was uh, contacted by a friend of mine. He had been at Souls Chapel conducting his own investigation and uh, with a few friends. And they were hysterical on the phone. And I, you know, I asked them, I said, you know, what's going on? You need to calm down. Let's talk this out. They asked me to meet them, and I did. I went to meet them. And when I arrived there, I don't know how to describe it. They were livid. There was a couple of them were, were vomiting where I met with them. I mean, they were, they were fainting. They had just come from Souls Chapel. I said, what did, what did you see? And, well, their stories were wild. Uh, one of them claimed to have seen a, a small girl in a white dress uh, sort of roaming among uh, the graveyard. The interesting thing about that, they said not only would, could they see her when their eyes were open, they could see this girl when their eyes were closed. I was, you know, I was shocked. I said, when did this happen? They told me, well, just, you know, half an hour before. And, and they were literally ran off, literally ran off from Souls Chapel. 
I told them, I said, well, I, I, I'm going out there. I've got to see this for myself. I'm never one to kind of hide. I said, I'm going out there. Uh, they looked at me right in the eyes and they said, you can't. I said, what? They said, you can't. Promise us, promise us that you won't go. I didn't make that promise. I went. I went to Soul's Chapel that night and what I encountered out there, well, 